Oh, I love synths, yes. My name is Sharif Hashizmeh. I'm a sound engineer, producer. I'm also um, a massive modular synth nerd. One of the most kind of known collaboration is uh, me and John Hopkins. In the past, I've worked with Brian Eno, David Byrne, King Creoso, Pivot. I'm also part of this trio called Hirim. Every time we're in the same room, music just magically appears out of thin air, and that's a quite rare occurrence, you know, in the creative process. So when, when I have like a lot of hardware in the studio, then jamming it and see where it kind of takes you is, a, is always good fun. Things like Prophet, they're, they're kind of lower mids, that is just so soft and warm, beautiful. But it is quite weighty, it takes up a lot of space. So just, yeah, just having that kind of software version of it that I can just call up the multiple instances without worrying about the cost of it is, is always a great thing. Profit is normally the kind of the early instances of synths that I will load up for the very early stage of production. For one, it's very inspiring to work with. Everything is kind of quite instant. You don't have to do like a crazy amount of menu diving, like all the controls are there. There's no kind of crazy hidden settings that you kind of have to like go into and you're like, where is it? And then it's like, oh, I lost the sound. And, you know, with this, it's like, yeah, I exactly know where things are. Here's the, you know, here's the, the oscillator section and then the, there's a mixer and then goes into the filter and the amplifier. And then here's your modu you know, modulation source. It's like, that is just as simple and, you know, as approachable as it can be. So this is like a best of both world, isn't it? So you, you can have this kind of digital effects and, you know, all the kind of fine tuning of your input source and stuff like that that you can do. And then, you know, being able to draw the LFOs and stuff like that, that, that is just that you can't do on the, you know, the original version. Alrighty. So I got a little MIDI loop doing just this. And then on the second one, which is kind of similar sort of approach, uh, I'm still using this sort of, sort of noisy sample. I can just hit the key. So yeah. So basically what I normally do when I'm like doing the hearing stuff, uh, I probably would go with like some sort of pad sound. Yeah, that's like a, for me, like a classic kind of warm prophet sound. Oh yeah, that bass is like... That's the vibe, isn't it? So you can, you can just sort of jam mindlessly without even thinking about recording. I'll just set up a loop, see what happens there. So that was just me just vibing off the actual sound that Prophet is giving me. The 
good thing about the digital version, I suppose, is you have this like different wave shape. But yeah, look at that. These are all the different waveform. So you can go through maybe you want your blended one on this one and then you open up this one and oh yeah, oh, I just want a little bit granular. And it kind of really kind of opens up the sound design side of things. Oh, I like that little ring on that. So yeah, just having that kind of easy, morphable wavetable is, is a huge plus. Digital is, is actually really good at like a low end because you get that kind of really clean low end, which you can't get it in the sort of the, the, the analog version. And then, yeah, you, you, then, you can then sort of have these like kind of cool modulation ideas as well. And again, you can do a little bit of, so you're just having, having that kind of a uh, bit more kind of precise control. A good instrument, I really believe that it inspires musicians to make music. Prophet is like one of those, you just lend your hand to the instrument and the, the instrument starts playing the music itself, you know. That, that is the kind of, you know, things that you can get from Prophet. Mm -hmm.